Shang here, host of the Extreme Fully Fishing Channel. Today is December 7th, 2017. My outing number 160 of this year. It is my last day down here in Florida. I mean, at least in Fort Lauderdale with my dad, okay? So we've been here for about two days now. If you guys haven't checked the previous videos of our Florida Slam, I highly recommend it go check it out today is day number three for the past two days we have been hitting inlets and doing some salt water fishing down here in Florida to compile our species list check this out my dad is on fire I'm here filming my intro he's got another fish he's got a gar check that out he's got a gar wow and of course he lifted up the gar like a savage man but anyways I gotta go take care of that gar Pretty much what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be fishing the G15 canal and other places for fresh water. Try to add some species to our list, right? Which by the way, this is species over here, the Florida gar is officially on our list now. I gotta take a shot <laughs> soon. We're gonna be using live shiners and night crawlers. It's gonna be a wonderful day. Let's see if we can do some damage down here. Stay tuned okay there we go man we just got the day started no joke uh, my dad already caught a little gar check that out he's gonna leave it over here he's gonna release the gar nicely florida gar yeah 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 <laughs> it went inside the rock man but the trees yeah trees yeah i told my dad let it go free there it goes one happy florida gar we are starting the day right folks with some live shiners. Oh, fish on, fish on. Oh yeah, nailed the shiner. What we got here, what we got here. Dude, it nailed it, whatever it was, dude. And it's fighting pretty powerful too. Oh, I think it's a, I think it's a peacock. Oh, it's a peacock. It's a peacock. It's a peacock, dude. Peacock bass number one. Oh, hell yeah. Nailed that shiner, dude. Not bad for the beginning, for the start of our day. Beautiful little <laughs> peacock bass here. <laughs> oh, brother. Definitely a feisty guy over here beautiful peacock bass from the g15 canal we're just getting started today with the fresh water fishing check this out huh very very nice look at that it's got the spots at the back too beautiful beautiful fish all right guys not bad not bad first fish of the day nice little peacock bass here you come to florida you should do some peacock bass fishing right <laughs> So let me show you guys, technique for today is actually fairly simple, nothing complex, you know? Just one little gamakatsu hook and one little shiner hooked at the back. Ooh, my dad's on, my dad's on. What he got here? Damn, son. Yo, it's a little peacock. <laughs> it's a little peacock, Tukunare. <laughs> not bad, not bad. Check this out, huh? beautiful little peacock bass. Another species for my dad's list. There it goes. Oh, my dad, my dad got something. He's hooked. My dad is hooked on something, dude. Not bad, not bad. He's doing good this morning. Hell yeah. I think it's another peacock. <laughs> it's another peacock. Check that out. Oh, very nice, dude. There, oh, this one's a little bit messed up too on the side. But yeah, very nice. Hang ho, hang ho. Live shiner, definitely working. So we've been fishing this spot for a little while now. As you guys can see, primary pattern of the day is really going to be fishing places like this, you know, in the main canal, places where it kind of curves in, like little culverts and little inlets 
like this, you know, are all good spots. We've been fishing here for a little while. Uh, my dad got two peacock bass and one Florida gar. I got one peacock bass. Action kind of slowed down a little bit. So we may be moving to a second inlet slash culvert really soon. Oh, my dad's on. I think my dad's on. My dad's on. My dad's on. He's got something. Oh yeah. Oh, it's a gar. It's another Florida gar. All right. Fiolia, <laughs> huh? Very beautiful. Look at that. I know I didn't give you guys a lot of details, right, on the Florida gar, but I mean, it is just the Florida gar, right? Super feisty. Gotta be careful with the teeth in front of this fish. Look at that. Gee, dude. But yeah, it's a beautiful specimen indeed. Very nice. Holy cow, that's a big one. Oh, there's a snake head right in front of that iguana. Mother, f there was a snake head right in front of that iguana, dude. Are you for real? There was a bullseye snake head right over there, and then the iguana went into the water, dude. That is messed up, dude. That is so messed up, dude. That is messed up. But that is Nate had me is still be around here though. Oh, it's blow up. Something's trying to get it. Two small blow ups. I missed it. Oh, fish on. We got something on the dead shiner, dude. Dead shiner. What we got? Yo, what is that? What is that on the dead shiner? Oh, it's a large mouth bass, dude. Oh, man. I'm using the dead shiners from the bucket. Not even the live shiners. Large mouth bass came up. Micropterus salmoides. Because you know, you, you, you just can't get rid of these guys. Doesn't matter where you go around the country, you just gotta find some large mouth bass. You know, look at that. Even, even the dead shiner, man. All right, well, that is another species for our Florida lamb. So I gotta. <laughs> All right, not bad, not bad. Let's take a shot and release this dude. Damn son, for a moment I thought it was the big mouth slipper, which is a species of fish that I don't have yet that you can catch down here in Florida, but no, it had to be a little large mouth bass, man. Oh, there's one. What we got here? This is another species for today. Hell yes, yeah, son. We got a little spotted tilapia right here. I'm doing the micros now. I'm kind of letting my dad use the shiners, you know, because I only bought, I only brought with me two dozen of shiners, you know. And I mean, I already got my peacock bass for the day. Let the old man have some fun at the good spots with the live bait, you know, so he can have it all for himself. I'm gonna focus a little bit more on the micro species. Another species for our Florida trip here, spotted tilapia, although I've caught some big spotted tilapia here back in the days, you know. This is like a much, much smaller version of what I have caught before. Oh, fish on. Another species for today, is it? Yep, the Mayan cichlid. Cyclosoma uroftalmus, if I am not wrong, very aggressive species of fish, super, super beautiful, another invasive down here in Florida, yeah, it's got the little dot here at the back, just like the peacock bass, but of course, right, they are very, very different looking, it's got the vertical bars, beautiful colors, terminal mouth, much, much smaller than the peacock. Final view of our Mayan cichlid. Look how beautiful this fish is, huh? Wow, there's some action all over the place. 
Let's release the Mayan cichlid over here. Whoa, damn, dude. Aggressive. My dad got a Mayan cichlid on the shiner, man. Yeah, my dad says a new species for him. Said, hell yeah. He thought it was a peacock bass, man. It's a big Mayan cichlid. Whoa. Calma, rapaz. Calma. Take it easy, man. Yeah, it's gone. Hang on, put for. Oh, there we go. No! Whoa, 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 easy, man. Easy, bro. What we got here? Easy. Micro fishing, man. What is this? Oh, yeah. This is another species, man. We're catching all the micros here. You see that? Sometimes you really got to go out there to catch these micro ones. This is the smallest, smallest Salvini cichlid that I ever caught. The Cichlasoma Salvini. Look at that, man. Pretty neat, huh? It's got the black dot here, blue rays on its face. Micro fishing at its best. Another species. Man, I gotta tell you though, this has gotta be one of the ugliest Salvini cichlids that I ever seen in my life. But again, you know the aquarists down here in Florida, they throw away those because they they don't really want it, right? Didn't have the good genetics. Shouldn't throw away any fish in your local watersheds because it is invasive. But yeah, man. Oh, there we go. Is this something different? Nah, it is the same. Is it still, I mean, a little bit bigger, but it's still a Salvini cichlid, yeah? Check that out. Super aggressive little guys, for sure. Very beautiful. I mean, gotta, gotta give this fish credit, right? Took, took the worm like a champ. All right, let's release it over here. This one took the worm like a champ, dude. All right, there it goes. We go guys so i wasn't really filming just now but i just pulled another micro species check this out this is an african jewel cichlid check it out how beautiful this is i, I ain't kidding you you know sometimes micro fishing can be really really rewarding look at this look how beautiful this little fish is give me one moment ah it's feisty look at that african jewel cichlid I'll take a photo of it, but uh, definitely a very, very cute little guy. I gotta tell you folks, I've seen some of these around and this one right here that we have here is actually one of the most beautiful samples that I've seen in a while, okay? Blue dots on its face, you know what I'm saying? Very, 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 very beautiful fish. Oh, look at that. Yeah, back it goes. All right, I tied on a very, very, very small size 24 hook just to try to catch a mosquito fish to add to our Florida Grand Slam species list. We will see, we will see. There we go. That's it. That's all we need. That's all we need right here. It counts. It was on the hook. This is a little eastern mosquito fish. Check this out. It is a little bit dirty, but oh! easy I mean it's not like we gotta put this one back this is just a little mosquito fish you know what I'm saying but uh, yeah we caught it on the size 24 hook let me clean it up a little bit check that out now little eastern mosquito fish Gambusia Holbrookie all right look at that <laughs> hopefully it won't hop it out of here but check this out you guys can have a little view just to add it to the Florida Grand Slam species list so my battery just died but check this out huh? <laughs> I went to change the battery man my dad got like this huge eel man American eel Anguilla hostrata 
own the dead shiner. This is crazy. Look, look at this. The size of this eel. Dude, this is a pretty, pretty big authentic eel right here. Yeah, good luck taking the, the hook out though. That's another species though for our Florida lamb. Actually, first American eel that I've seen out of here in Florida. That's crazy. This one, it swallowed the hook. So I just gotta cut the hook here real quick, you know? Easy. There we go. All right, yo, wow, man. Whoa, it's trying to get into the pipe there, dude. Oh, it's going down, man. That's a big eel, man. It is currently 12.15 p.m. And you guys know what's up. 12.15 p.m. We have fished the whole morning here at the G15 canal. And it was a good morning. I mean, don't take me wrong, you know. We got some peacock bass, the Cicla Ocelatis. My dad got his first ever Florida Gar, right? That's a big plus because if you guys follow me here on the YouTube channel, you know that over the years we have struggled a lot to catch Gar, you know? So I got my first Gar when I was in Orlando. I did that collaboration with Finna Fish and my dad caught his first ever Florida Gar today. So I can actually say that our revenge on the Florida Gar is complete, right? Other than that, I did a little bit of micro fishing. We got some Mayan cichlids, a spot, a spotted tilapia. We got some very cool small micros, huh? the Salvini cichlid, and also the African jewelfish. Overall, oh, not to mention that one large mouth bass, man, that it came up on the dead shiner, yeah? So, I mean, it was a good day. It wasn't a bad day in the morning. We still got the afternoon to go. We got to go get something to eat now, and then we got to move to another canal. This is the G15. Look at that. Are you kidding me? There's some mullet now just jumping here at the back, you know? Whole day. <laughs> but anyways... This is the G15. We're gonna move to the Stratahan River, I believe. Do some fishing there in the afternoon. Try to add a few more species to this Florida trip. Next video is probably gonna be the last video of the fourth Lauderdale installment of our Florida Slam, okay? But anyways, whew, time to go, time to get hydrated, you know, energize a little bit. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching tight lines and take it easy oh yeah this is good bait right here perfect bait size spotted tilapia i mean you know i'll take any tilapia man any sunfish any whatever but this is a good bait spotted tilapia i'm gonna give it to my dad right away check it out he's got the big ass circle hook already on it what can you cross on by all right, he said, he said, I said, I told him I gotta put it on just through the back right here. Get this. Ah, look at that. Oh, yes, yeah, so no.